Welcome to Faith Talk with Anita. Thank you for joining me on the journey. Thank you for spending this time with me. As I record this Faith Talk, we are just a few days away from the Feast of Pentecost, which this year is on May 19th. This will bring us to the end of the Easter season and usher us into ordinary time until Advent begins again on December 1st. Pentecost is a very important feast day in the life of the church. The day the Holy Spirit descended upon the disciples of Jesus following his resurrection and ascension into heaven. It is believed by many people to be the birthday of the church. But I think Pentecost is far more than that. I don't see it as just a Christian story. I see it as a universal story intended for the whole world. As Christians read the story of Pentecost, it is easy for us to believe that the Holy Spirit was God's gift bestowed upon that first community of Christians on that one particular day so long ago. And that the rest of us received the Holy Spirit at our baptism. But might we be viewing this story through a much narrower lens than the biblical author had intended? That's what I'm reflecting on today. Here is Luke's account of this momentous event from chapter 2 of Acts of the Apostles. When the time for Pentecost was fulfilled, they were all in one place together. And suddenly there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind, and it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there appeared to them tongues as of fire, which parted and came to rest on each one of them, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit. Clearly, something remarkable happened to those people on that day which affected them greatly, something mysterious, seemingly outside of the physical limitations of this world, which brought about an immediate transformation in them. They probably didn't understand it fully at the time, but they felt it immensely. And we know that this spirit empowered and emboldened them because despite their great fear of being arrested, they marched straight out into the crowded streets of Jerusalem to share the good news with everyone. But as we continue Luke's account, we learn that the coming of the Holy Spirit was not limited to just that first Christian community. He goes on to say, there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven staying in Jerusalem. At this sound, they gathered in a large crowd, but they were confused because each one heard them speaking in his own language. They were astounded and in amazement, they asked, are not all these people who are speaking Galileans? Then how does each of us hear them in his native language? We know from Luke's account that on that day, Jerusalem was packed with people of different cultures and languages. And we know that the disciples spoke some dialect of Aramaic. So it would have been difficult for all those foreigners to understand them. But Luke tells us, the power of the Holy Spirit allowed everyone to understand the message in their own language. The Holy Spirit was at work in the disciples as they shared the good news of Christ, to be sure. But the Holy Spirit was also at work in all the people in the streets of Jerusalem. The gift of the Spirit was not limited to just the disciples in that first Christian community. No. The Spirit was at work within 
as Luke put it, people of every nation under heaven. As I said, it is tempting for Christians to think we have a monopoly on the Holy Spirit, but that is impossible. We remember from the story of Moses' encounter with God at the burning bush that God, the great I am, has no limits, no constraints, no boundaries. Surely God's spirit cannot be limited just as God's love and mercy and power cannot be limited. My friends, I believe Pentecost is one of the most important feast days on the Christian calendar, not just because the first Christians received the Holy Spirit that day, not just because it's the birthday of the church, no. I believe Pentecost is important because it is a powerful reminder to all of us that the Holy Spirit has been given to all of us. Now, please don't misunderstand me. I do not mean to diminish the importance of the sacrament of baptism. Surely, baptism is vital for Christians. But I don't see baptism as the specific moment that we are given the Holy Spirit. I believe baptism to be the moment we accept and begin to intentionally follow the Holy Spirit. As I see it, if the Spirit wasn't already at work in people before their baptism, they wouldn't have the desire to be baptized in the first place. I believe the story of Pentecost offers us two significant lessons. First, the Holy Spirit has been given to the world. It's a done deal. The Spirit is ours for the taking. All we need to do is accept the gift. And second, the Spirit is for everyone not just for baptized Christians. No, the Spirit has been given to all. My friends, on this Feast of Pentecost, may we open our hearts and remember that all people are God's people. And let us be assured that God has given the gift of the Holy Spirit not to a select few, but to all. Let us use this day to remind ourselves of God's extraordinary gift and gratefully accept it anew. Let us pray. Lord, by the light of the Holy Spirit, you have taught the hearts of your faithful. In the same spirit, Help us to relish what is right and always rejoice in your consolation. Amen. Thank you for joining me today. Please join me in my next Faith Talk. Until then, you will be in my prayers. May God bless you.